lot. That was lot. That was a lot. That was a lot. Seeing an up close uh, view here from Mission Specialist Dave Wolf's helmet camera. Difficult to see at the moment, but the two helmet cameras views will be differentiated today by uh, numbers in the small or small numbers in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Wolf will have a 16 in the bottom of his view, and Marshburn will have an 18 in the bottom of his view. I see the cable on the out of the airlock. How does my view as it should? Sounds good. Okay. Tom, I'm going to put that back outside. Is it running free? Oh, it is. Our feathers are separated. Oh, I believe we don't have a picture from Tom's helmet. Lights off. Lights off. And lights off, yeah. A little lower, a little outboard. That's it. Lights off. Thanks, we got it. Good. My legs aren't on. A little dark out that way. You can just can make you out Mission Specialist Tom Marshburn in this That's view from line, Dave Wolf's helmet camera. Again, as you can see, he's wearing the dashed red stripes, while Wolf will be wearing yeah. solid red stripes on his spacesuit. Dave, I don't quite see your HCM handle. Right one, it's behind your PGP. Okay, I see it. It's down. Manual isolation valve is down. Many workstation tabs are up. Safety tethers clear. And a uh, little hatch popped up in here. Do we catch up? You will put it in work. Copy, and it's both um, boots. both boots. Um, put your local tether back on. The spur's not a great place to do this. Okay. So just, I'm going to come back down there. Okay. Local tether's back on, Dave. And now swing your leg out and let me get an eye of what we got here. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Both sides. Now okay. check out your... Spacewalkers being asked to pause before they head to their first task so that Dave Wolf can turn down the cloth on Mission Specialist Tom Moshburn's spacesuit to cover some sizing rings on the ankle area of his spacesuit that's not quite covered. Uh, and although that wouldn't really be a safety problem, the metal can get hot or cold as the space walkers go through day and night cycles and it might be uncomfortable. The cloth is a thermal protection that would help keep that from happening. This view from Wolf's helmet camera as he does just that, tucking the material over the metal. Yeah, it's the EVA folks, they're on top of it. I'm verifying the, uh, at least the two and threes are lost. I can't see the ones from there. Five and are lost. Just let yourself, your head is on your right, let yourself yaw left so I can get behind to the closure. Let yourself yaw. There you go. Like knitting a pair of socks. Pull yourself back up a little so I can get to that. Just go up. up. About a six inch. How's that? Okay. I think we are as we were. Except your feet are straight up. Let's get you back in a normal orientation. More familiar. Get a look at that hatch and know kind of where you're at. Satisfied? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. I'm going to, I might clear the process. Up the And uh, Houston, we're happy if you are. 
And Houston's good. Thanks a lot for the help. Tell me. How do you read me, Julie? Not in clear. Mission Specialist Julie Payette will be working with pilot Doug Hurley to operate the robotic arm. Of your choosing up there. Number three verified. Good numbers. Land 11 turn. Got Bag was connected between 3664 and 3668. Copy, Dave. Next step for you is as required GCA to set yourself up for arm in, uh, ingress. Okay. And uh, let me get some words in here. Uh, Tom, your settings are the same for both bolts. Uh, prior to starting the GCA, I'm going to get just enough to get going. Uh, after you pull it, remove it, you'll place it on your VRT and uh, translate to the T1 area where the, the ATA is. Thanks. Torque of 5, 10 turns, bolt 1, going for the last bolt. Same settings. And uh, torque? Torque is 5. Marshburn working on removing the third, I believe, of the bolts that he, of uh, four that he needs to remove and all to take away this thick scrapple bar. Uh, basically a handhold for the station's robotic arm to grab onto the ammonia tank assembly when it needs to move it later in the year. That'll actually happen on the next shuttle mission. And Wolf did some work on the previous spacewalk this mission to get that ammonia tank assembly ready to have this no. fixed grapple bar installed on it. Yeah, I believe I did four. Four, thank you. Ten turns, thanks, Chris. For those who are watching NASA TV on the Education Channel, we'll be taking a break from mission coverage to go to a Apollo 11 anniversary event being held at the National Air and Space Museum. Black on black with a full test. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Dave. To Mission Specialist Dave Wolf climbing into the foot restrainer, installing it on the robotic arm that he'll be riding. Passing by in the background, you can make it up just at the bottom of the screen is Brazil at a distance of about 218 miles. Alpha 7, clockwise 2, and you can expect about 9.2 foot pounds. The same number of turns approximately as before, 10 to 11. Good motion. Good motion. And Chris, uh, we expect the bad bolt decay message in about five minutes. And that's for Dave. Copy. Dave, you can turn View of Mission Specialist Tom Marshburn's yeah. helmet yeah. camera here as he gets to work uh, installing that um, fixed grapple bar that he just took off of the external storage platform two, installing it here on the ammonia tank assembly on the port one segment of the station's truss. It's a great place, that of the ingress position. Let me press with the swap here before you move it. How bad is it to come back down a foot or so? Well, we were going to. Uh, we weren't finished with our maneuver. Oh, okay. Go ahead and finish it off. That's fine. Copying. Continuing. Zenith. Marshburn will have four bolts to install to get this 
grapple bar secured onto the Molni tank assembly. And again, that will be used during the next shuttle mission to do some exchange work on the Molni tank assembly. Mission Specialist Julie Payette letting Mission Specialist Dave Wolf know that he is able now to get into the foot restraint that will let him ride inside on along on the station's robotic car. Meanwhile, Tom Marshburn has three of his four bolts that are holding down, will secure the fixed grapple bar to the ammonia tank assembly installed. Close-up view here from the helmet camera of Mission Specialist Dave Wolf. He works to get the pump module two lined up on the stowage platform. As you can tell, it's just about there. And this view from Mission Specialist Tom Marshburn's helmet camera as he begins driving that one bolt. Okay, it's torqued out. 6.9. One turns. I think it's my yeah, it's my safety tether that's whipping me around. 
That's what it is. Yeah, let, let's, uh, let's take the time to do that. We're now five hours, 30 minutes into today's spacewalk.